You asked me if doing prison was the hard part, and I spent over 12 years in prison. In 18 years, I did 12 total. And it wasn't the hard part, wasn't going to prison, it was getting out and trying to be part of society again. Because um, at one time, I was a contractor. I had four employees, three-bedroom house, blah, 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 blah. And I, I had to lose it all to realize it was just stuff, but still. Then when you're done with your time, and I discharged my sentence in February 11th of 2011, I got my parole papers signed off. I became a citizen again. I can actually vote. I can actually go in and vote for the president. But I can't get a job here or here or here. I can't have any apartments because they won't accept felons. And uh, I even went through an agency that took felons. And they'll give a pedophile an apartment before they will me because I had a drug charge. I wasn't even dealing drugs. I had possession. But anybody that has possession of drugs, they're worried about them selling drugs in their apartments, so they won't give them one. But this place would give a pedophile, somebody who raped a little baby or something, and give them an apartment, but they wouldn't let me have one because of my felony. Because I had a drug felony. And it's just the hard part was just becoming part of society again. It's like they didn't want me. Um, they didn't want me to be part of their society anymore. So I just decided, fuck it. I'm going to sleep in a tent. I'm going to do what I love for a living which is playing music, and if I just make a little bit of money, I'd rather do what I love with a passion and make a little money than go back to contracting and try to make a lot of money and be part of a society that doesn't even want me anymore. Fuck them. I walked up to a woman once to ask her what time it was. I was pushing a cart. Me and my wife were pushing our cart. We had all our stuff in a grocery cart. I was pushing. I needed to know what time it was, so I went up to ask this woman what time it was. She's like, oh, get away from me. I don't have any money. Leave me alone. I'm like, I don't want to. She's like, just get away from me. Go. I'm like, and I'm thinking... What could have this woman been through if she's so terrified of a stranger that she... What if my wife was pregnant, her water just broke, and I needed help? I mean, who knows? What if I was having chest pain and I needed her to call 911? She didn't care. It was just get away from me. Go. I don't got no money. She thought all I wanted was her money. I just want to know what time it was. And it hurt, man. It's like, damn. But it's all right. You know, when it, when it comes down to it, I came in this world by myself, and when I die, I'm going to be the only one in that coffin. And uh, so really all I guess that matters is me, I guess. I mean, but I'm just trying to make the world a more better place, man, a more beautiful place. And if music and art can do it and somebody appreciates it, that's all that matters. If I can make a difference in one person's life, that's all that matters. Uh, you made I'm, a difference in my life. Praise God. I mean, hallelujah. You did. I would be sitting here with you if he, if he hadn't. Yeah. Because you were playing your guitar when I walked up. Well, hopefully it's a positive difference, you know. We can all make a negative influence in somebody's life, but if we can be a positive difference in somebody's life and make them just stink for a minute, maybe there is something worth caring about, you know. But I don't know. And you just don't fuck with society. And honestly, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him, bro. I don't blame him. He said he was talking about how the world is changing, different things like that. Everybody is so worried about the Internet that they forget about real life within itself and it's true it's true but i want to make this video to let y'all know that the impact that you make on others is way more important than you think it was crazy because he even said he tried to um he was trying to ask a lady for for her. it was something small bro and she basically told him to like get away. Like she was real scared. And he was just trying to ask for something little, little bro. So look, listen, this is what I'm gonna say. Even though my channel is, I talk a lot about loving yourself. Yes, do love yourself. Yes, do spend time to yourself. Yes, do learn yourself, learn who you are. You know what I'm saying? Learn what you want, different things like that, so you can just live an overall better life. Even though I say these things, keep in mind that there are other people that go through the things that you go through. Seriously, like, there are other people that are probably going through the exact same things that you're going through, or worse. So keep that in mind when you're talking to people, when you, when you, when you, when you treat people the way you treat them, when you doing things with people, when you're interacting, keep that in mind. Everybody is going through something. What Mac Miller say? Mac Miller says, see me and you, we ain't that different. 
We ain't that different, bro. We all going through something. You get what I'm saying? We all have something that we can relate to in some way. Because I really feel like we all won. We all won. Like, without the status, without the money, without all that, cut all of that out the equation, we are all one. Literally. So treat people as such, bro. Don't be looking at people like you better than them. Don't be looking at people like you more than them. Don't be looking at people like you less than them. Don't be feeling like you're less than, because you're not. You're not less than anybody. Just because they got that car, just because they got that house, just because they got... It, it don't matter. You can get all of it. You can get anything that you want. Don't make that feel like you're less than or don't make that make you better. That, that doesn't make you better, bro. It doesn't. It doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you... It, it doesn't. It doesn't change who you are. It's just material. And I promise you, when you live like that, you'll be better off, bro. It's, it's just because it's like you compete with yourself. I'm not competing with nobody but myself. Yeah, I may see some other some other content creators and be like, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I might have to use that idea real quick. That's a cool idea. Boom, boom. I might have to, you know, try something different. Boom, boom. But overall, I'm competing with myself. I'm not competing with nobody else. I'm not in competition to try to beat this man and who has the most this. And I'm not in competition to beat this man or who can get this the fastest. I'm in my own lane, bro. Doing my own thing in my own way. And the only person that can stop me from not getting to where I want to get is me. That's how you need to be. Because when you like that, nothing can stop you. Nothing can make you feel like it. I'm telling you nothing can. Nothing can. You look at your past self and you like, damn, I made it far. Let's keep going. Let's see how much more. Let's see how much better I can get. Let's see how how much how much better I can get over time. It's a whole competition with yourself. You're competing with yourself to see how much more you can do. There's so many people out there that have great ideas, great potential, that can be great at a lot of things. But they scared to do it because they see in, like, because of what they see on social media, bro. They scared to do it because of opinions and what other people think. But at the end of the day, that shit don't matter. It don't matter what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. It don't matter what somebody else think. It does not matter what somebody else think. Post what you want to post. Do what you want to do. It, at the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. And then once you happy, you know what I'm saying? You can spread that, that love. You can spread that positive energy. And then other people going to be happy around you. Now y'all all happy. Now y'all all doing y'all thing. real spreading lo love can go a long way bro love can go a long way and it don't matter who you give it to it can go a long way bro it don't matter what that person got going on or how that person is even if they are strange if they are stranger to you bro show love show love bro don't treat nobody like oh he's weird i don't know him so you know I'm going to be an asshole. No, bro. It's too much money out here to be assholes, bro. It's too much amazing things in this world to be assholes to everybody, bro. It's too much great things going on to be assholes out here. We really need to be helping each other. Building each other up. That's how it need to be. Everybody's so in competition with each other. They can't even focus on their own path because they, they trying to focus on, oh, oh, what, what they doing? Oh, what they doing? What they got going on? Oh, how they living? I want to live like them. Let me, um, like, bruh, no. Be in your own lane. Do your own thing. 
have your own shit going on. Because when you when you paying attention to all these different like avenues of of different people's lives and you know celebrities and all this, you literally take that time that you could use focusing on your life and you focusing on their life. Why? Why? Why even do that? Why? Why even do that to yourself? Why even put yourself in that? You know what I'm saying? Why even do that? And I ain't gonna say like I ain't never did it because I used to do it. But then I realized like, bro, I am really paying attention to somebody else's life. Why don't I just live my own? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? People be idolizing these these people. But the impact you leave on others lasts forever, bro. I don't think y'all understand. I want y'all to understand it. It lasts forever. The impact y'all leave on others will last forever. So even when you die, your name is still ringing, bro. Your name is still going to be ringing. It's like you're a legend. See, the reason why these... Why these these goats and these historical rappers that really left a message behind the reason why they names still get brought up to this day is because they made an impact on others in a specific way in a certain way whether it was through their music through their art whatever it was even this guy right here he probably impacted mad people von von go but he probably impacted mad people with this art piece right here. I was talking to to, to this ta- to my tattoo artist today. I was like, bro, that's so cool that you can that we can make a living off being creative, bro. What? <laughs> that is so cool, bro. That is so cool. But it's true. Like it's it's true. Your name, like, you live through your, through what you leave behind. You can live through what you leave behind. So once you die, you can live through what you leave behind. And people will never forget you. It would be like you still here. But yeah, that's it for the video. Make sure I hit that like button. Make sure I hit the subscribe button. And I'm going.